Hi there, welcome back. The last episode, we learned how to print characters to the screen using 6502 assembly. And today we're going to talk about loops. So let's start with a decrementing loop. And before we go into the assembly code itself, let's take a look at what uh, the equivalent program in BASIC would do. So this program here, we start out by clearing the screen. Then we assign a value to a variable x of 255. That's the maximum value that a byte can have. And then we print to the screen the contents of the variable x. And then we decrement x we, by 1. So if it's 255, now it becomes 254. And then we check for the end condition. So if x is different than 0, we have not yet reached 0, which is in this case our end condition. What we do is we go to the beginning of the loop. We go to line 30 again. We print x, which now is 254. Then we decrement 253. We come here, test again, and we keep looping until this reaches 0, in which case we don't go to line 30. We just proceed to line 60, which is the end of the program. So now we have to accomplish the same thing in assembly. So here's the code. So the, this part should be already familiar for us. We start the program by uh, calling the home monitor subroutine to clear the screen. And then we load register x with a constant value of uh, hexadecimal FF, in other words, 255. And now the register x has this value. We store this in memory position hexadecimal 700. We know that this is this position on the screen. So we are this with this store to the video memory, we're actually printing the character on the screen. And then here's a new operation, a new instruction. We do a decrement of the register x. So whatever value was in x, now it is that value minus one. So we start with 255. This will turn it into 254. And here we do uh, also a new instruction called branch not equals BNE. So what this thing does is it's a conditional branching. It is, uh, we are transferring the flow of control to a different part of the program depending on something. And that something, it's the zero flag. So every time you decrement, or by the way, if you increment, because there are equivalent oper operations for um, incrementing. So, but uh, in our case, it's decrementing. So whenever we decrement, either the, the resulting value might be zero or something else. So if it is zero, then we set the zero flag, the Z flag to be one, to be true. Otherwise it remains as zero, false. So there's limited, limited real estate on the 6502 processor. So we will not use a full register just to represent a value that can be either zero or one, right? The zero flag is either on or off, it's zero or one. We just need a single bit to do that. So there is a special register that contains a number of different flags, and we're going to see some of these other flags in future episodes. But for now, what really interests us is this uh, flag here. So this is set on a register somewhere. For now, we don't need to bother much with it. Just know that when you do any of these operations, we do a decrement of the X register or increment of the X register, or decrement increment of the Y register, or finally increments or decrements of the contents of a certain memory location. We do any of these things. We, If the result is zero, it uh, flips on the zero flag. And then we do this branch not equals, it's basically if the not equals part means if it's different than zero. So if the branch, um, if the, 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 the Z flag contains anything other than zero, um, I'm sorry, if the, the register that we just decremented, X, contains anything different than zero, then the, the zero flag will not be on. 
and uh, it will be not equals. So we go to the label that we indicate here. So um, we are basically saying if it's not zero, if this decrement did not result in zero, we go to the label loop, which is line nine. And then again, we print on the screen. Now it's 254 with decrement. Now it's 253. Is it zero? No, it's 253. Then go to loop. Then we print again, decrement again. Keep doing that. Eventually, this is going to be zero. When it's zero, we just proceed to uh, line 12. And that's uh, return subroutine. And that's the end of our program. So if we assemble this thing and we execute it, uh, oh, I only have this A character and not all the other characters. What happened? Well, what happened is because we kept writing on the top of the same memory location, we have overwritten it, but it's all so fast that you only see the final result. So we need to slow this down somehow. And one way that we could slow this down is to uh, beeping, right? We learned how to do that on episode one. So we, we call a beep and that is going to take a few milliseconds and that makes uh, the, the whole process visible. Now, of course, there I'm pretty sure there are much better ways to uh, do a pause than with a beep, but this is just uh, using the knowledge that we have from prior episodes. So let's see what happens now when we execute with this beep. So you don't hear the beep because my sound is uh, disabled, but now you see that uh, this is actually creating a bit of a, a lag, of a bit of delay uh, between each character. Uh, so we can see that it's actually decrementing and it's going to end in a character A with uh, colors inversed. So the, the background is white and the foreground is black. Uh, we should be almost there. Yes, there we are. So this is one, one way to accomplish this with this branch not equals. And of course, there is the opposite operation, which is uh, branch uh, equals. And in this case, it jumps if the flag is zero, if the Z flag uh, is uh, flipped on. In our case, we only want that when we want to get out of the loop. So when we say, OK, branch equals so if if the the zero flag is on we go to end otherwise we want to go back to loop right so now we can do an unconditional uh, branch a jump and this is like a go to when we say jump loop we are basically independently of any condition we just uh, it, it's like go to in basic it's like go, doing go to line nine and you see that this uh, we use two instructions rather than one but we are accomplishing the same practical result and i'm going to show you this in action so you see we have again the same result but now using uh, branch equals rather than uh, branch not equals uh, which is described on chapter five of the assembly lines book. So this um, concludes our present chapter on loops. And I hope uh, you come back for our next episodes. Have a great day.